Now, I'm just, I'm just starting to do this, so let's just continue this. The shape of the fins are really important. So we want to be as accurate as you can, and you've only got to be just slightly out, and it looks odd. And I will do everything I can when I give you the reference picture to make sure that I follow the design accurately. Now this is mainly dark, so I'm just going to put the grey on um, carefully. If you put the outside edge like I've done there, it's, it's easier to not to overshoot. Now you might think I'm really being delicate. Well, I am, and deliberately so. This is not an easy picture to do, and one of the reasons why I haven't done it a, a dolphin before is it's really difficult to get it smooth. Uh, but with the colour shapers, then it makes it possible. So we'll do the best we can. Now there's no point in blending that because we're going to go straight in with a dark colour. So that's with the 181. Now I won't do the whole thing again. I'll just do a little bit to show you how it's going to work. It's dark against this edge because it's in shadow anyway. Now you want to get it as you don't want any sparkle. The worst thing you could do here is having any sparkle of the pastel paper coming through. So spend time on it like I am, filling the holes up of the pastel paper. It's going to pay you. I'll come down as far as there. Because it's going to take quite a time to actually do this. Okay, you know, I'm not going to blend that for the moment. Uh, and I'm not going to take the pastel off either because I'm going to use it. Uh, this is the black. Very slight design there that needs to be done. Right, now that's pretty dark. And when I blend it, it's going to Take all of the tooth up. See that? Now you can't see any sparkle at all, and, and you're quite close. So that's fantastic. Right. Now, just there, there's some blue. Now, okay. you've seen me do this before, where we can put light on top of dark and it works in a situation like this. A little bit of blue in there like that. And then just, just blend it out a little bit. Now it's all it needs just to touch. And there we are. Now I'm going to complete the rest of that. And I've got another one. Look, this one is a lot more light in this. Uh, but before we do that, we've also, and I can stop start this as well for you, there's a, a shape like that. And that's all going to be dark in there, and going to be dark. Now on the other side of that's going to come down. Let's just do this while you're here again, following the line. I've drawn. Right, that's got to be filled in, but there's, a, there's white on there, and you see that I've already put some on. Okay, let's just go around that. And that will show up better once we get all of this in. And it's dark. Now, there is some light areas there. So what I'll do is put some light grey there and that helps me to see what I need to do. It's dark on that side, dark on that side, like that. But there's a light area here. 
you'll see that develop now. Okay. And um, the rest of and then we can work our way down to the bottom. Obviously it, it repeats itself all the way through. The only area that we've got to be careful of is when we get down to around you can't see that, around there. Because that's when the splash starts up. Now we've got to be a little bit care, more careful there. But I'll worry about that when I get there. But up to here, maybe we're following what we've already done. there now with this it's very dark on this edge and using the black for this now and then it graduates as we get up to here so again very dark here this is going to be dark on the other side of this It's all about shading this picture. This is what makes it so tricky. Now this is where we've got to be careful. We put black in here. And it's a combination of the, the colours that we put on. And the colour shaper doing its job. Lovely. Right, there we are now. Kind of shaper. And you'll find you'll have to do this a few times too. You, you, you can't just get it in one. Um, because now you see we, we've made it just a little bit too dark so we're going to have to come back in with the lighter colours. And all the way through this you're going to have to do this. It's not a, a very big picture and there's, there's a, not a lot to it until you get to this area. And, that, and now the other the trouble is with that is again we've got a problem of shape. If we get the shape wrong it's not going to work. That's better. Good. Now come down there now. This is where we can use the white pencil again. In fact, before I do use the white, I'm going to use the blue. I put quite a lot of blue mixed in with this. And I'm going to add more. So there's the blue. Didn't show up too much, but enough. And then we can put the white in now. This is where we've got to put the shading in. Feather light touch with the white and just graduate it so it kind of like that. And on the other side, not much on the other side, just a spot. Got the idea? And then we can let that go. Now that's not bad. 